Hi everyone. Today I will present our recent work studying the feather mesenchyme stem cell. I would like to thanks for Dr. Briscoe for inviting us to talk. Uh, I work with Dr. Chung at University of Southern California, and we studying the evolution of different skin appendage, such as hair, tooth, and feather. So in the hair, the dermal components include the dermal papilla and dermal sheaths. Dermal stem cells has been found in the dermal sheath. Compared to hair, the feather has three dermal components, dermal papilla, dermal sheath, and the pulp. So when feather regenerate, it goes through different developing stage, early growth, middle growth, late growth, and stop growth at resting phase. In the resting phase, we cannot find the pulp. The pulp has been degenerated. This is a growth phase feather follicle. We can find these different dermal components, dermal papilla, dermal sheets, and the pulp. We can clearly find the peripheral part of the dermal papilla, the pulp and the central part of the pulp, their cell density are different. Our goal is to find the basic principle in different skin appendage regeneration and to find the TSL and stem cells in feather dermal components and their signature genes. We first characterize the molecular expression in the growth and resting phase feather follicle. We found that each dermal component has a molecular expression profile. For example, SUX2 expressed in the dermal papilla, tenacin expressed in the peripheral pulp and dermal papilla, while mintin expressed in the peripheral pulp and the central pulp. When the feather entered the resting phase, SUX2 only expressed in the basic part of the papilla, and the y minting only expressed in the apical part of the papilla. When we label the chicken with BRDO for two hours, we and collect the feather we found that uh, uh, proliferation happened in the epidermis and in pulp. We barely find the cell proliferation happen in dermal papilla and in dermal sheaths. Even if we label the chicken with BRDO for one week, we still cannot find many proliferation proliferating cell in dermal papilla and in dermal sheaths. But we can clearly find cell, proli cell proliferation happened in the peripheral pulp. We further use uh, IDO cell DO on double TSL labeling method. In this method, we inject IDO at uh, time zero they inject the CRDO in 22 hours and collect feather 2 hours later. We can clearly find the, the cell, uh, proliferating cell difference between this 2 hour CRDO labeling and the 24 hour ideal labeling. So, this data suggests that uh, the cell uh, migration happened uh, in the pulp from the peripheral pulp to the central pulp. We further examine the label retaining cells in the feather follicle. Label retaining cells are slow cycling cells 
and they are putative of stem cells. We pluck the contour feather, let it regenerate. And we label the BRDO for one week. After the labeling, we collect the feather immediately or at two weeks or four weeks or seven weeks. In this way, we can find the, the LRC distribution in different stage of the feather regeneration. This is the real data. But from this schematic drawing, you can find this di different distribution of LRCs in different stage of feather growth. Basically, we can find the distribution of LRCs in the peripheral pulp, and they gradually sink down and eventually only in the apical part of resting phase. Interestingly, we also find this dermal LRCs always accompanied with the epidermal LRCs in different stage of feather growth. We dissect the pulp in different regenerating stage and perform the bark on a sick. And we found the, the molecules expressed in different state pulp. For example, this CDK1, highly expressed in the early stage pulp, gradually reduced and expressed at very low level at the resting phase. In C2, hybridization data confirmed this result. Next, we performed bark on acid in different dermal components from a growth phase feather follicle. We tried to find the signature genes in different feather components. And we used the inoscope to confirm it. For example, here we see that Terfrizo 8 is highly expressed in the dermal sheets, and the inoscope data support it. Feather pulp are capable of regeneration. This panel shows a resting phase. When we pluck the feather, after two days and four days, pulp gradually regenerated. In our last experiment, we try to know whether this epical domopapilla distributed ARCs contribute to the new pulp formation. In this experiment, we label the ARCs with IDU. Here we see the red color and the label the TSLs with CLDU. Here is the green color. Our results show that in the two-day regeneration, there are 50% ARC cells also are in proliferation. This is the yellow color. So this data suggests more than half of the ARCs are contributed to the Leopold regeneration. In conclusion, there is a TSL zone and a LRC zone in a feather follicle. And these LRC zones can accumulate in the resting phase apical dermal papilla and contribute to the new pulp regeneration. Here is the summary of similarity and difference of dermal components between hair and feather follicle.
Basically, feather has this pulp. Pulp is a dermal component within the feather filament. And uh, uh, feather dermal cycling happened more in the pulp and in the apical dermal papilla. We would like to thank NIH for funding our project. And also, I would like to thank for Dr. Chong's lab member for their different kind of support. And thank you very much for your attention. If anyone has any question, please let us know. I will do my best to answer. Thank you. That was great. So we have a question already in the Q&A. So Alex Eve is asking, do you know what triggers feather regrowth stroke proliferation in your system? Is it mechanical stress, inflammation from plucking or something else? That part we are studying right now. That is a good question. So uh, so we know that promoting uh, this by by weather change, right? Or a plug is by the uh, pressure. Me me uh, mechanical pressure change. Yeah, that, that is a good question. So, yeah, we know that uh, the cell, uh, the plug the feather, it start to regenerate quickly, but we that part we do not know yet. Thank you for this question. Thank you. Next. So Dominic Bergman is asking, do you know the nature of the interaction between your two cell populations to maintain regenerative capacity? Are there any candidate signaling oh. molecules? physical or chemical communication now? Oh, that too, uh, that too, can, um, um, cell population, that is uh, referred to the epidermal and dermal uh, stem cell. Uh, uh, yes, we are, uh, we, we observe this uh, phenotype, this epidermal uh, stem cell and their uh, dermal stem cell, they they always uh, accomp uh, accompanied together. We uh do not understand uh, what's the reason so let it we are doing some experiment to try to uh explore this question and uh and uh another question Xiao hong wang is asking uh, is the other label retaining cells function similar to stem cells in feather regeneration Oh yeah, uh, in the epidermal, uh, in the epidermal uh, stem cell part in 2005, that the Chong lab already uh, uh, proved that these labor retention cells are stem cells after they do the transplantation work. Okay, um, the dermal part we do not know yet. Okay, so we are do more functional study to prove they are uh, stem cells. And I was interested. Dr. Chong, Chong there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Okay. Yeah. You need to unmute yourself. Dr. Chong, you are muted. You are, you are muted. So at the at one more. <laughs> the Ping said it's true, but the, in feather, it's so complex. We actually found some interesting result. This this label retention cell is probably one big station, and above them, uh, somewhere in the feather follicle sheets, there seems to be even more earlier stem cells. Uh, and then I think there's multiple train station like that. They go down to one step, go down to one step, and uh, we are trying to sort out those relationships. Thank you. Thank you. Gareth Fraser is asking, how long are feathers functional before molting? Does a single feather site regenerate continuously over life? Yeah. Uh yeah. Dr. Chung, you answer or me answer? <laughs> yeah. The, the feather, <laughs> usually, when, if you see a feather, you look at the stalk area. If there is blood, it's still in growing phase. Most of the time, there will be no blood. That meaning they are in resting phase. They actually stay in resting phase for quite a long time until they molt. So that's a very interesting question. What control molting? Uh, because feather, most of the time when they function, they are in the resting phase. Uh, then when season comes, uh, or they are also story, uh, when they got shocked, you know, uh, you know, I, my friend, 
they, they have those books talking about the hurricane come, the chicken are within the bound. So they are not directly hit, hit by hurricane, but the, after hurricane goes through the feather for, falls down too. Uh, so they, they, the, the molting is, uh, is controlled by these multiple seasonal or systemic uh, factors. And otherwise the chicken feather stuck together in the sheath actually quite tightly uh, through some kind of keratin mechanism. And in fact, that's chicken, people have to use quite a lot of force to pluck the feather before they eat. Uh, so the molting there, the control and the, the, the adhesive force is, uh, is wonderful questions too. And does, does the regeneration happen from the same site over the life of a, a bird? Uh, that one, that one. Okay, so uh, we, uh, in one experiment, uh, we need to uh, use the flight feather. So one uh, phenomena we observed is that when we continue pluck, for example, this month pluck, let, 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 next month pluck, let, they gradually re reduce their regenerating, regenerating ability. They slowly become. Okay, so that means, uh, let's suggest that their stem cell uh, it, uh, get old, okay, or use up gradually. But that one, we will we, 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 we'll work on that part, aging of the stem cell mm -hmm. better for the mm -hmm. Good, thanks very much. We need to move on, but um, I, I think both uh, Ming and, and, and Ping will be available after the, the, the last talk. So I'm sure um, please catch up with both of them later on. So thank you, thank you very much.